Now, this is an ABC Action News Update. Good evening, I'm Jasmine Stiles. Jason Adams will have your forecast in a minute, but first, here's your ABC Action News Update. Both presidential candidates going full throttle in the race for the White House. It's the last weekend of campaigning before Election Day. President Donald Trump keeping up with a busy schedule. Today, he's making several stops in the swing state of Pennsylvania. Tomorrow, he'll go to Michigan, Iowa, North Carolina, Georgia, then cap off the day back in the Sunshine State talking to voters in Miami. On Monday, he'll make a last-minute push in Pennsylvania, Michigan, and Wisconsin. Meanwhile, Democratic presidential candidate Joe Biden made a stop in Flint, Michigan. Former President Barack Obama spoke first, then introduced his former VP to supporters. Tomorrow, Biden will campaign in his home state of Pennsylvania. Now let's get you caught up with the latest coronavirus numbers in our state. And now we have more than 802,000 total cases. You're taking a look at the Department of Health's COVID-19 dashboard. You can see more than 49,000 people have been hospitalized and more than 16,000 Floridians have died since this pandemic began. Unfortunately, our positivity rate is over 6%. Health experts want to keep that number at 5% or below to continue reopening. And an important reminder before you go to sleep tonight, daylight saving time ends at 2 a.m. Sunday, so you need to set your clocks back an hour. Get excited because that means you get an extra hour of sleep tonight. Let's talk to Jason now. Hey, Jason. Hey, we are looking at a decent forecast setting up for us here on your Sunday, but you will notice a couple of differences, a bit more humid, and we'll also see an afternoon shower and storm chance, unlike today where the rain chances were very limited. So highs will be back into the upper 80s. It will feel more humid out there, and that will give way to a couple of thunderstorms. But the good news is, is that we are expecting to see a cold front and that cold front is going to deliver another punch of some really comfortable air here late Sunday into Monday. So your hour by hour for tomorrow shows we're dry to start the day with partly cloudy skies already back into the mid 80s by noon. And then as we go three, four, five o'clock, we'll start to see some of that moisture pushing in this all in advance of the front. And once that front comes by, look at how temperatures fall by the time we get to Monday morning, 630. There we go. We're back into the very comfortable air mass and it's going to be sticking around for quite some time too. We won't get back to a high of around 85 until all the way into the end of the week. So the next few days are going to feel really nice. But again, we got to get through this little bit of a muggy and humid Sunday. Jasmine. Thanks, Jason. That's all for your ABC Action News pregame update. We'll see you later tonight on Action News after the game.